Hello friends. Today I'm going to tell you about the movie Hostel. Enjoy watching it. These girls I met at this one hostel in Slovakia. Friends Josh and Paxton went to Europe for crazy adventures. Here they meet an Icelandic man named Ali, and he to join their company. The three of them guys came to Amsterdam for affordable drugs and girls. They they were having a blast. They went to parties, smoked weed, and even got into in a nightclub brawl. That got them they got thrown out on the street. The guys had to go to the to the red light district. It's the only place in the middle in the middle of the night you can find love for money. Ollie and Paxton were happy to take advantage available and naked bodies, but Josh passed up. From the brothel, they went to the hostel where they were staying. But the place closed for the night. The guys went on a rampage, waking up the guests and the locals. They were called in by a dude named Alexei. His roommate was pleasuring a girl, and Alex himself was smoking a joint. Turns out, Alexei knows how to have fun. He advised his friends to go to Slovakia. Not far from Bratislava, there's a hostel a hostel near Bratislava where they could rent crazy girls who just want to sleep with Americans. Alex even showed them pictures of those girls. Ali, Paxton, and Josh were all fired up with the idea of getting into that hostel. It didn't take long they took the train there. However, their swaggering Euro tour was spoiled by a random compartment mate. First the man showed them his predilection of devouring food with his hands, and then squeezed Josh's thigh, hinting at intimacy. Josh freaked out and the Dutchman had to leave their compartment. Slovakia seemed like a depressing country, but the hostel welcomed them. There were really there were a lot of girls looking at them. The guys were a little disappointed when they found out there was going to be someone else in their room. Someone else was going to be staying in their room. But once they realized it was two sexy and liberated girls, they quickly to get their spirits up. Their new acquaintances invited them to the sauna. The girls' names were Natalia and Svetlana. After showing each other's naked body parts, the guys went to the club. This is where the Japanese female tourists were hanging out at the club to the guys. At some point, Josh got feeling sick and went out into the fresh air. K he was accosted by a bunch of young gangbangers demanding a bribe for being in their town. Josh was reluctant at first to give the hoodlums anything, but that man showed up from the train showed up and paid them off. He explained to Josh that in this town, most of the crimes crimes are committed by children. As of gratitude, Josh invited the businessmen to the club. He apologized for his behavior on the on the train and made it clear that he didn't mind touching men's thighs himself. There was a tattoo on the arm the stranger had a tattoo of a dog's head of a dog on his arm, but Josh didn't give it significance. He listened to the man's story about that the man had decided at one time to start family. And now he had a little daughter, and then went off to a hostel with friends. Josh got the dark-haired Natalia, and Paxton had his fun with Svetlana. Ali, on the other hand, went somewhere with a girl the hostel receptionist. In the morning the friends were told that Ali had checked out and left. After saying goodbye to their friends, Josh and Paxton met Ken whose friend sent her a picture of her with Ollie. She was saying goodbye to Ken. Josh and Paxton went for a walk around town. And Paxton told a story from his from his past, how he'd had the opportunity to save a drowning girl, but he didn't he didn't. Instead, he ran after a lifeguard and the girl drowned. He is still haunted by guilt over that incident. On the way, they encountered with a bunch of young kids on the road. And Josh explained to, to his friend that they had better pay or they wouldn't or they wouldn't let go. Right after that, they saw Ollie and chased him. They caught up with him at the torture museum, but it turns out they were mistaken. There was a guy they didn't know Ollie's jacket when they left the museum. Paxton's phone received a text message from Ollie. He sent a picture of his face and he texted that he was on his way home. They had no idea that Ollie's head was the only thing left of him, that Ollie's head was the only thing left of him. The rest of, of his body were separated from each other. The same the butcher was done with Ollie and sent his a picture of him to Paxton, went off to carve up Kenna's friend. Back at the hostel, the friends met Natasha and Sveta. The girls invited them to a club. The guys didn't want to go because of Olya's disappearance, but on reflection, they agreed. They couldn't get in touch with their buddy, which meant they had to to keep relaxing. At the club, the friends got the guys drunk. Josh started to feel sick and went to his room. The girl from at the front desk put him to bed, and when Josh woke up, Josh was sitting on a chair with a bag over his head. Meanwhile, Paxton, too wasn't feeling well either. He went to the bathroom, got the wrong door and ended up trapped in the clubhouse closet. That's where he spent the night. Josh was handcuffed to a chair. 
A man in a medical mask came in, and began to drill his body. When he was finished, he took the mask off and it turned out that underneath it the businessman from the train, he told Josh that he had always dreamed of being a surgeon, but because of his shaky hands, his dream to come true. So he found a private club where they allow you, for money. To cut up visiting tourists for money. And Josh liked him, so he paid for him to bring him to the place. The kid wanted to leave, he begged for mercy and the man even let him escape, but made a couple of deep incisions in his ankles. Poor Josh was about to crawling to the door when the butcher finished him. In the morning, Paxton was released from the pantry and returned to the hostel. That's when he found out he'd had already checked out of the room and left, but Paxton couldn't do it. He didn't understand how it happened, so he demanded his room keys back. The room was filled with other half-naked who were calling him to the sauna. Paxton began to realize something was going on here. Frightened for his friends, he went to the the police, but they advised him not to to worry. It's just that his buddies had gone on a bender and they're bound to come back. All you have to do wait for them at the hostel. After leaving the police station, Paxton met Natasha and Svetlana in some divey bar. Natalia told him to him that Ali and Josh were now together. They went to an art show, and the girls ready to take Paxton there. They bring him to the grounds of an abandoned factory where there are of people with criminal identities. Natalia takes Paxton to one of the buildings of the factory. Here he saw an old acquaintance from the train, who was poking around Josh's insides. Natalia confessed, that she'd get paid good money for him, and then Paxton was grabbed by thugs and handcuffed to the chair with handcuffs. A man in a with a medical mask and a rubber apron, who wanted an American. He acted strangely. For some reason he cut off a piece of Paxton's hair for some reason, and then wanted to shoot him, but he decided to have some fun with him first. The guy talked too much, so the man asked the guards to put a gag in his mouth, then proceeded to torture him. He pulled out a chainsaw, and out of fear. Paxton threw up. He had to take the gag out. The kid almost grabbed his tormentor by the his fingers, and the man sawed off two of Paxton's fingers in retaliation. Then the maniac slipped on the clip, fell, and the chainsaw sawed off his leg. Paxton managed to free himself and made it to the table with the gun. He grabbed it and put a bullet at the sadist. Then he called for a security guard. Paxton shot the bully, took his the keys to the handcuffs and took them off. He put on a, a horned helmet for safety, grabbed a cleaver and made his way outside. But in the corridors, there were a lot of guards. He had to hide in a pile of dead bodies on a gurney. He was picked up by an employee of this private club and took him to the the cutting room. Here he chopped the bodies up and burned them in the furnace. Paxton managed to finish off the butcher and make his way to the locker room, where guests left their belongings. He found a business card for the private club that listed the prices of the test subjects. Rich sadists from all over Europe came here to torture and kill innocent tourists. For this, they were willing to pay for it, and the tourists were supplied by the locals. Paxton washed his face, bandaged his arm and changed his clothes. He was about to to leave, but then he met the new guy, who had never killed a man before. He was agitated and asked Paxton for advice on the best way to finish off his victim. Paxton advised him to kill him right away, but the businessman didn't want to make it that easy. He dropped the gun and went to torture the tourist, who had been allocated to him. Paxton took that gun and got out into the yard. He was already about to climb into his car when he heard the screaming of a girl. He remembered that a long time ago had failed to save the girl, and now the memory of it haunted him. Paxton didn't want to do the same this time. He broke into the building, went in screaming and found out that his new tormentor acquaintance was burning out the eye of Kenna's. Paxton killed the scoundrel, cut off the painful stump of the eye and took the girl with him. They escape in the car one of the guards. They're being chased in pursuit. In the city, they accidentally ran into Svetlana, Natalia, and Alexei. The three of them were discussing something in the middle of the road. Paxton was more than happy to set them up in a fatal car accident for them. Only Natalia survived, but she was run over by the thugs who were chasing the fugitives. Then Paxton's car was pulled over by a group of juvenile assholes. Lucky for him, there was a whole bag of of gum. For him, the homeless agreed to stop the harassment. They blocked the bandits' way and then finished them off with rocks and sticks. At road was waiting for the police cordon, they were looking for Paxton and Ken, so they had to run. When they got to the train station, the girl saw her reflection and decided to kill herself. Here she was already the thugs from the private club were already watching her. Kenna threw herself in front of a locomotive, and Paxton left on the train. On the train carriage he met that businessman who liked to eat with his hands. The guy followed him to the the station bathroom, caught him into the stall and cut off two of his fingers. Then he broke in, dunked his head in the toilet, and finally slit his throat. Having finished with the the maniac, 
Paxton boarded the train and and headed away from this town. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe and like if you want more similar videos.